Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Make yourself comf comfortable because we're going to be here. I need to talk. Okay, I need to talk. <laughs> so we're going to be seeing a couple spreads, seeing what's going on, just giving you the whole run around, okay? So I'm feeling like doing one of these long readings for a while. Feel the urge of letting go. Also, the urge of renewal. So, we're going to get some advice for the next week, the next seven days. Advice here. We're going to do a quick spread and we're going to get in some other spreads for you guys. So, let's see what we have for my beautiful, my lovely Libras. bottom of the deck we have deep diver diving into a test head first, head first so i feel like this week you guys are gonna be busy at work you guys are definitely gonna be focused on whatever it is you want to do like whatever you plan you're definitely going to be doing it. you're going to be deep diving into it with full intention and full focus that's what i feel for you guys this coming week in the next seven days definitely full of focus what are you going to be focused on Okay, Revelation, the Unmarked Trail. For some of you guys, you're going to be focused on where it is you can go. Like how how much you can, um, how much you can prove yourself to a certain task. Like basically, if you put your all, if you just do what you said you're going to do, like how far can you go? Like I feel like that's what you're going to be thinking about. Also, you guys are going to be planning ahead for some type of future, some type of future goals. Um, something that you have not done. A lot of you guys are going to be hit with some type of downloads. Um, I feel like you're going to be hitting um, territory. You're going to be walking on territory that you never walked on before. Going on paths, trails. You may be having conversations and you may be seeing things, watching things that you've never seen before that's going to open up your mind. You may be trying a new way to do something, a new way to do a task, to finish a task. I feel like some of you guys need to let the ego go. This is what you need to act on. Letting some type of ego go. I feel like your ego is keeping you small. Your ego is keeping you fearing certain things. It's keeping you fearing a lot of things, actually. And you can do without your ego. Like, your ego is telling you a lot of false truths about things that you just don't need at this point in your time. Definitely, um in this next seven days there's some type of important work there's some type of important work that you need to do the things you can leave behind is you have to stranger curiosity i feel like it's acting like there is no more information for you stop planning it's time to get to action it's time to start like, stop playing, playing. Stop acting like you haven't been down this road before. Like, you don't know exactly what to do. You're not a stranger. You're not a stranger in this in this place. You're not a stranger here. You know what it takes. For some of you guys, you know exactly what it is that you need to do. For some of you guys, you've been half-assing. And you know exactly if you put your all into it, imagine where you've been. Some of you guys done good by half-assing. And you know exactly if you put your all into something that you would be way farther along you're no stranger to this you're not a stranger to hard work you're not a stranger to focus okay you're not a stranger to anything and what to bring forth is a direction an actual plan make your plans you need a direction you need an actual plan and you need to stick to it. You need to get back to the plan. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. Get back to the plan. It's time to get back to the plan. Get back to the drawing board. Okay. My sage was going low. But the fire got crazy. There could be some type of fire being crazy. Some type of passion. I don't know why I keep feeling like love is around the corner. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like, love is around the corner. 
some some flame ain't some some flame didn't go out. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. What other messages? If that resonated, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. What other messages do we have for Libra? Look at that flame. Like, I met somebody who like fire just as much as me. I think he liked it a little bit more because he told me he was explaining the flames and everything when he first fell in love with fire. <laughs> and he was like, the whole backyard just went in flames. Like, whoosh. He was like, I set my whole backyard on fire. I was like, listen now. I, ain't, I didn't do no stuff like that, even though I almost set my kitchen on fire, but that ain't nobody business. Fire is just so pretty. I'm going to have to watch my kids when I have them. Let's see. Around fire. Look how that flame just grew. Let me move it away from my things. Go ahead. Shine. Shine your beautiful light. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Libra? At the bottom of the deck, you have answers. You are about to get some answers that you've been waiting for. I feel like you guys do have the answers. You are about to get some answers that you've been waiting for. Okay. There's some type of good luck and love. There's some type of good luck that you have. Some type of good fortune that you need to focus on. There's something that's going your way just because it's for you. And I feel like instead of looking at somebody else's circumstances, you should just focus on your good luck and what's going good for you right now. Like, literally, what what are all the things that are going good for you in your life right now? Like, ponder on those things. Fester on that, Okay. The actions that you need to take, I feel like the actions that you are taking are for your life purpose. For some of you guys, you know it's that thing that's burning inside of you that you know what you need to do. And you need to be moving into that. Everything counts. Everything counts for that reason. Everything that you're doing should be because of the life's purpose. And I feel like you have that knowledge. Avoid not forgiving someone and embrace the compassion that you have for somebody or a situation. Avoid not being in a space where you can forgive. The answers are here, though. The answers may be in the compassion or in your life's purpose. For some, for some, of, you guys, for some of you guys, everything is tying together. Everything is definitely going to tie together. Let me get some more Oracle out. Everything is definitely tying together. Let me do... I haven't done a spread with these love cards. I just usually let them do what they do. But we're going to try something new. I'm feeling inspired to try a lot of new things. Some of you guys could definitely be on that. Like, I'm just... Just letting, just being creative and trusting, trusting my downloads that come towards me and just letting them, just giving them to the universe, trusting what comes through me. I'm just in a place of trusting. That may be how you find your answer. It's just getting to a place of trusting. Getting to a place of receiving. Okay. Let's see what it is. You got a sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you find true bliss. 
Focus on healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment, okay? For some of you guys in a relationship, action is your twin flames. Your passion ignites. So I feel like some of you guys need to put more passion into your relationship. And also be mindful of what you are manifesting. Manifest in miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow is to follow its guidance. So I feel like avoid not following your heart and avoid what you're manifesting. Okay? Embrace this new beginning that's happening. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, let's get into the tarot. There's some type of new union coming. There's there's dreams, there's goals, there's getting back to work. There's a lot. We did the next seven days for you guys. So some of you guys are diving into a, a task. Deep diving into a task. Getting deep. Getting down to business. Going into some type of dark spaces. Going into the unknown. Places that most people wouldn't go. All to get something done. To get a task done. To get something completed. All in the name of completion. You got the Ace of Cups coming out. Ace of Cups with the Princess of Swords. Mm. Somebody is watching the abundance, watching the love, watching you be surrounded by love, watching you be more loving, watching you open yourself up. You have an audience. First, he kicked it off with the seven of swords, <laughs> some type of theft. Somebody's keeping something from you, hiding something from you. Got the Seven of Cups as well, hiding multiple things from you, trying to keep you in an illusion. Somebody's trying to keep you into an illusion. Make you think something harder than is, is something is harder than what it is. Somebody's trying to fool. Somebody, somebody's trying to play with your intelligence here. You got the emperor. This could be somebody. This could be a boss or somebody that's trying to play with your intelligence and make you think that something is harder than it is, than what it is. Make you think that it's some something is a lot of work and it's not. There's an easier way to do things, but somebody is being an asshole toward to you. Somebody is trying to put a heavy load on you, trying to make your job harder than what it needs to be. Somebody can be um, bothering you at work. You can have like a boss or somebody just bothering you at work. What else do we have here? You're being patient with it, I feel. You could be seeing a lot of seven, 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 seven. You're being patient with it. I feel like you could just discover that this person is definitely going to keep messing with you if you react to it. If you show that it's something that's like, if you keep trying to fight back. So I feel like some of you guys are patient and you're slowly, slowly, slowly planting your seed. Some of you guys could be slowly making your escape plan out of this job. I f strongly feel like this is a job. Um, you have the temperance card. So I feel like some of you guys are balancing you're restoring your harmony within. You're trying to not let the outside world or let things that you can't control control you. You realize this is a person that doesn't have any control over your mind. They may can control like how heavy or how heavy the workload is, but they don't have your mind. You can be taking care of you. Got the five of pentacles. There definitely could be a hardship. Somebody could definitely be playing with your money. I feel like you do, you do end up leaving a situation. For some of you guys, you do end up leaving a situation. You have the Six of Cups here. Some of you guys could end up leaving and going back home for a minute. 
going back to a neighborhood, going back to an old neighborhood, spending a lot of time at home. There's definitely going to be an unexpected call right when you feel like giving up. So for some of you guys, you could have been out of work for a while. But there's going to be a new way with this phone call coming through. You can be getting a phone call from a tourist, somebody who wants to help you, somebody who's who was successful themselves and they want to help you. This also could be another job opportunity that they now you're getting a call back from another job opportunity that you've been slowly planting, waiting to get out of something. What else do we have? We have the sun here. This is excellent positivity. So why will person like why will person try to put all that all that drama on you it's not going to stop anything you got communication and fast moving action and excitement so this person is not going to stop anything why they try to why why they do all that for some of you guys learned your lesson with this person what's this again in here you fully learned your lesson with this person or for some of you guys, this person is definitely going to lose their job. Got this emperor, this Aries. What is up with Aries and Libra? Let's see. You'll be able to take a break to leave, to finally say no to this job, to leave this job. Let's see. Yeah. Being blessed with options. Yes, being blessed with options. You got the queen of pentacles. Finally being in a place where you're stable, where you have stability. Here go that king of pentacles again. Is this person, is this, is this somebody who likes you? Hmm. Could be a match made in heaven. Have some type of options with this King of Pentacles person. Whoever this person is, they definitely want to help. Then you have this King of Cups. Are, are these your options? What else we have? We have the Four of Cups here. A lot of cups going on. Four of Cups here. Something coming out of the blue when you're over it. When you're literally done. Like over it. You're being blessed with some type of options here. blessed with the option to walk away to leave a job with rest finally resting finally getting that rest you got the high priestess oh this card is beautiful following your intuition trusting yourself trusting what's inside of you moving away got the chariot moving along the two of wands going on to another venture here go here go the emperor again going on leaving this leaving this person behind Somebody thought that they had power over you and they don't. You got your back turned. And you're going on your journey. Going to your ace of cups. Your ultimate happiness. Something that's going to make you ultimately happy. At the bottom of the um, deck, you have the six of wands. Your efforts are definitely going to be recognized. If you were at a job where nobody recognized you, like you were doing your work and nobody gave you anything, you're definitely going to get recognized at this new place this new job this new job is definitely going to give you some recognition let's see what else do we have what else do we have for a Libra a Libra got the four of pentacles some of you guys are going to try to hold on to it hold on to like some of you guys are not going to leave some of you guys are definitely going to hold on to it until enough is enough try to hold on to the job some of you guys think the job is very valuable you're going to hold on to the job and then leave then things are definitely going to get interesting very fast quick moving action like you're going to be gone so fast like people may even think that you're on a vacation they're gonna be like oh no she she put her um resignation papers in she's gone temperance this is all for your healing and your growth 
major, this is a painful ending for some people. But I feel it's, I feel like it's not going to be painful. I feel like what was painful for you was going through it. And I feel like this tower card, I feel like it comes through with some pain because it is an emotional, like somebody put you on an emotional roller coaster and finally being done with that is going to, you're going to release some type of emotional emotion. But I feel like that this is a release. Like, you're going to be happy that this house collapsed. Taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys could be starting a business of your own. You got the three of pentacles hard at work. Some of you guys definitely could be starting a business of your own. Let's see what's going on in love for you. If this resonated with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. This is a time where I should be going live, but <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties, so it's coming. This is a time I should be going live, though, but let's see what's going on in love, in love for Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If this reading is resonating with you, what do we have for love for Libra? So for some of you guys, you have the four of wands. There could be a lot of trouble at home. Somebody could have left home. Somebody could have moved out. There could be lots of arguments. Not a stable environment. Yes, you have the ten of cups in reverse. So definitely not a stable environment. Okay. A lot of arguments at home. Family trouble. There could be a broken marriage. Or some of you guys could have kids and the kids are moving out and now you're looking at each other like okay what do i do with you you're absent some of you guys are absent at home somebody's absent got the queen of pentacles not stable somebody's not loyal I feel like somebody could be de depending on someone financially. Somebody is also impatient. There could also be some type of money problems going on. You got this King of Cups. Look like there's a Scorpio weighing out their options or somebody is weighing out their options. Somebody is thinking about leaving or staying. Got the tower card. There's definitely going to be some type of painful ending. And this is going to come with a lot of conflicts. For some of you guys, there could be some type of marriage. You can be getting out of a marriage. You could be saying 555. Five, five. Something is unstable. There's been a lot of hidden secrets. A lot of hidden agendas. You got the princess of cups in reverse. So there was probably a breakup. But I feel like there's some type of dependence. There's some type of dependence. Somebody could be counting on somebody financially. Um, this could have played, this could have been heavy on your confidence. Play with your self-confidence. I feel like, Libra, you're not feeling confident at all, even though you're in the spotlight. Even though people are recognizing you, you don't feel confident because of this thing. I feel like there could be a lot of recognition at work. Somebody could be giving you compliments at work. Definitely Scorpio energy here. There's a major ending. Got the Princess of Swords in reverse. This definitely can come with some type of arguments. 
some type of um tax situation. So I feel like some of you guys could definitely be married. You have the Ace of Cups. There could be a, a big disappointment. Some somebody is feeling disappointment the way how the legal matters went. For some of you guys, you didn't see this coming. Some of you guys, you're trying to hold on to what you have left. Somebody is trying to take all of your money. But you're stronger. I feel like you tame the lion. Like, look how she's looking. Like, you better know how you who you messing with. You tame the lion. This also go. You could also be in a relationship with the Leo. Definitely a breakup or a marriage or a divorce. Could be with a Gemini. You got the seven of um seven of wands. Somebody, your boundaries could be weakened. You got this Queen of Cups energy with this Prince of Pentacles, and then we have the High Priestess. So I feel like it's a long time coming, but you get back to yourself. You get back to that place of love. You get back to following your intuition, trusting yourself. There's um, somebody's going through a messy divorce. I feel like you do get back to work. Get back at what you were working on. Get back at what you were. Um, passionate about. Or it comes a long time coming and you guys be able to like work something out because somebody is really trying to do you dirty. If you're going through a divorce, what are the messages you have for Libra and love? finish with some some type of energy you could also be very drained going through a lot but you're acting like everything's fine typical libra i feel like right now you're finished with some type of energy and you have some type of power back you're gonna regain your power you understand that you have the strength for something here you are again you regain your confidence back as well you move on for somebody, somebody could have had you in a third party situation. Somebody could have been cheating, but you you move on from the situation. Here's this King of Pentacles. You're back on your goals, back on your path. Got a Taurus and an Aquarius here. And the Aries, okay? Some of you guys, you're back on your path, back on your goals. Back on your golden path to success. You guys are still, you know, you're ready. For some of you guys, you're ready to date. You're ready to get back out there. Like, you have not given up on love. You do have the emperor out there. There is somebody. Mm, there's somebody you got your eye on. There's some divine masculine person. This person could probably own a business or something. But there's somebody that you do have your eye on. You may have your eye on multiple people. Got the King of Wands too. This definitely could be a wealthy person. Got an excellent relationship. You got the Sun card coming out. Ten of Cups. The Four of Wands. The relationship. Seven of Swords. Some type of hidden agenda. Who is this? Okay. You have the Tower card coming out again. I feel like that has something to do with a past situation. Here's the King of Swords. There is some type of truth comes coming out about some type of somebody who had a hidden agenda. Queen of Cups here. The High Priestess again. You follow your intuition on this. I feel like you take a step back from some type of relationship. Got the devil card with the ace of cups and the king of cups. There could be some type of magnetic attraction. Got the strength card at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Some of you guys are going through some type of divorce. There's some type of new love that's coming in. We're going, I'm going to um, get into this. See what's coming. What's coming to you. 
and love. There's some type of new love coming in. This could be with the Aries, a Gemini, Aquarius, a Virgo, and a what else did I see? What else? A Leo. That's what I see. That is what I see. Some of you guys, this is some type of love relationship blossoming. But I feel like for some of you guys who was going through that divorce, once you move on, this person is not going to let you go. Like you've moved on. You're on to new, better things. There's some new love out there. This person, like I said, there's been some type of manifestation of Libra manifesting somebody who is very wealthy. This person does have that. Or they have some type of solid family foundation. This is a new beginning Okay, this is a new way of life. This person may move you into a new home. This person wants to give you a new way of life. It's going to come with a lot of drama, some type of conflicts, jealousy, competition. People are going to try to compete. I feel like this person got a lot of options. Definitely could be somebody you work for. Got this Queen of Cups. Got the World card. Hmm. This this person has an ex. This person has an ex. Somebody's ex is not going to understand that it's over. Somebody's ex has still has so much romantic feelings toward this person. I feel like this is the new person, their ex. Okay, and I feel like this person is going to have to tell this person over and over again that something is done that is done somebody's not taking no for an answer yeah somebody's trying to move on but you got this person still still lingering in the background it's a new cycle coming in this person still is trying to like communicate with this person this person could be calling a lot here you are at the bottom of the deck. Justice. Some this person could unexpectedly call you. Here's this emperor that you had your eye on. There's an unexpected phone call from somebody's ex. Got the Knight of Pentacles. Trying to make something move slow. Somebody's slowly but surely waiting. This person's upset. Like, they, they're willing to slowly but surely stay there. Like, they don't want you to leave. Like, they still, they're still looking at the past. Okay? Somebody, somebody is... Somebody is a psych a psychopath. Like somebody is a psychopath. And they're willing to wait it out. This is weird. How long have we been? I said I was gonna be long today, so. Give y'all something for Sunday fun day. What else mess? What other messages do we have? Hmm. There could definitely be an argument. Something could definitely come to blows because a person will not let go of the past. Got the King of Wands. Somebody's not letting go of the past. This is you overcoming something, healing. This is your family. This is what looks good. I feel like that's not your energy. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. Who's stuck, who's stuck and won't move on. Somebody's stuck and won't move on and keep trying to do little things. This person may, your person may share kids with somebody.
somebody wants to keep you confused in the situation. Somebody who doesn't want you to know the truth about the situation. You got the chariot. This could be a cancer. Got this king of pentacles again. Definitely could be a Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. With this three of cups here. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a friend. You got the nine of pentacles. This could be an independent woman. It's cancer energy. This is a cancer. Somebody's dealing with the cancer. Somebody's hurting inside. And they want your happiness. They want to turn their heart. They, they want their happiness back. Somebody's still looking at an Aquarius or looking at somebody with, with feelings. They want to talk to this person. They want to communicate their feelings to this person. This this could be your empress here. I mean, your emperor. They want to communicate their feelings with them. Hmm, somebody trying to take your... I think we already did this. Let's get into this one. Somebody's trying to communicate feelings to this person. Somebody's energy just messed up this, not messed up, but just took over this whole reading. Especially with love. Some of you guys are leaving a marriage. Then you have somebody who you're coming with that has maybe have kids with another person. And that person is still very much in love. You don't know this person yet. Codependency. There's some type of addictions. Somebody could be dealing with some type of addictions right now. Love yourself first. I feel like this could be you. And stay optimistic about your love life. This is before you meet this person. Some of you guys have not met this person with this crazy ex yet. Yeah, you have let go of your control issues very soon maybe a little while there's some there's a while before you get this deception before you realize that something's not going the way you want to go some of you guys are going to let your friends help you like this is some for some of you guys this is going to be real messy you deserve love and you have romantic feelings for this person there's a lot of chemistry there Your healing family issues. This could be a soulmate. And you expressing your love. But something's not fun here. I feel like this is this, this running with this act. Something's definitely not fun. Something's not some playful energy. There's no... This person is not going to reconcile. They're not giving their... Um, person the chance i feel like this other person just did not release somebody did not release that person the ex and that's not the one for them i feel like that's your partner's energy like it's not them who did not release their ex it's their ex they're going to tell you that yeah that's probably why that came up there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that this partner is going to um tell you listen carefully but also pay attention to your own red flags libra pay attention to the own things that you're seeing that's the message that i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel i love you guys and i will see you in the next video